Welcome to my channel, Gadgets for a Gentleman. In this video, a very quick unboxing of my latest uh, purchase. This is a Google router. Why did I buy this router? I had troubles with this router. This is the TP-Link AC2300. It's going uh, back uh, for repair to the uh, store where I bought it uh, because there is a problem uh, not with the antennas, but there is a problem with this um, internet port. So when I enter the uh, internet cable, it kind of like uh, comes undone or something. Um, it's very annoying. So every time my internet, uh, like w w that, once a week or sometime, internet will just, you know, cut off. And then I need to press the internet cable inside a little bit more or pull it out a little bit very annoying and for such an expensive device I think this is very poor construction in terms of the internet port when it's working it works like a breeze but this internet port is really dreadful so it's going back for repair and uh, meanwhile I bought myself this um, this uh, nice little product actually I hope they can't uh, fix the uh, TP-Link router and I can just uh, keep this um, Google router because I also think this router is so much uh, more elegant in the living room because it's just a tiny white thing. And that's specifically what I want to do in this video. Just, I think with the TP-Link router, I went for quite an expensive um, router, uh, some, something very fast from a reputable brand, but uh, somehow I'm not happy with it. So I'm just going to um, give this uh, Google router uh, a chance. So this is designed for your home. It has a fast signal in every, every room uh, for all your devices. It replaces your router and it has a consi consistent coverage throughout your entire home. Um, so the coverage is for homes up to um, 85 square meters. If you have a bigger house, then you can um, uh, add more of these um, uh, routers. It keeps itself fast, automatically selects the clearest channel and fastest band to help you improve your Wi-Fi channel. An easy app lets you set up quickly, see what's connected to Wi-Fi, run a speed test and more. So yeah, you can use it with the app. Um, inside is one Wi-Fi point, uh, one power adapter, an uh, Ethernet cable of 1.8 meters, a quick start warranty, uh, that's it. And um, this is the AC1200 router and it works with both uh, Google Play and the Apple App Store. So this is a dual band and um, both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Let's have a closer look. I think that's a good plan. So, proper unboxing. I did not secretly peek inside. It's uh, brand new. So I bought this device while the uh, TP-Link TP router will be repaired. And um, if they can repair it, they probably send it back. And then I have to return the Google um, router or I will try to sell the TP-Link uh, because actually this looks very nice. So we have quite a heavy box here and we have a little bit of uh, paperwork here on top that I just uh, read for you. So this we can toss to the side and here we have this um, lovely box all plain Google logo and we have this little uh, seal that I think we can just open like that. So that's the box. Uh, here it has some velvet material against uh, scratching the uh, device. And here is the device. So that's um, one. Oh, actually, this device is not that heavy. I thought it would be heavier. Uh, taking into account the box it came in. 
So yeah, what we what do we have? We have a hard plastic white device with EG for Google. Um, here we have a stripe uh, going almost around it completely. And I guess we have a button here. On the back, we have a QR code to set up the network. And we have two uh, internet ports, I guess. I guess one comes from your uh, modem, from your internet point. And then you can turn it into a uh, Wi-Fi signal. So that's the device. Let's see what else we got in the box. Of course, some plastic. So there is a quick start here that I will just uh, go through in a minute. Uh, what else? Ah, this is the heavy part, guys. This is quite heavy. So this is the power adapter. And this has a lot of the weight of this, uh, definitely a lot of weight. So this is the 1.8 meter long Ethernet cable that comes with this uh, lovely uh, rubber band and um, I guess I will connect the Google uh, Wi-Fi uh, router to my uh, internet modem so we we'll use this one and this is the power adapter and I think this looks very nice and I think we have quite some length of this cable as well as you can see here it's quite long so that works uh, quite well of course, we have some more product information here. Blah, blah, blah. Probably don't need it. This is quite useful. So this is uh, the setup instructions. Multiple languages. So that works well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, Google device and we connect this cable with my modem so I'm gonna put it in inside the uh, left uh, port right here that's a very sturdy click I really like how there is a cutout here to really smoothly uh, cover these cables and then we have the power adapter and the power adapter goes right into here So that's it. So this is how it looks. You, you don't notice any cables because you can hide them in the back. Now let me connect it to the modem and I'll be right back. So here we are back. I connected the uh, Google uh, Wi-Fi device to the uh, power adapter and to the modem. So step two is downloading the Google Wi-Fi app to set up the Wi-Fi point. So already I can say I really like the look of this device. I will put it on my desk and I think it looks very neat with my Apple products. Uh, definitely a nice design. So up next is the App Store. And I'm just going to search for Google Wi-Fi app. That's it. So let's open the app. You sign in with our username. Up next is uh, setting up. I'm just gonna uncheck this box, get started. Now it's looking for a device. I connected the Google Wi-Fi point uh, with the um, AC adapter to the electricity socket and with the Ethernet cable to my modem. Modem is the device where your internet is coming from. The Wi-Fi point is found and now it's connecting. What we need to do next is scan the QR code which is on the base of this device. So let's press scan code. Now you need to use this little uh, box uh, to scan the uh, back of the device.
and then it will um, use the camera to find the box and you say confirm. So where is my Wi-Fi point? It's in the dining room and we press next. We can uh, create a Wi-Fi name and up next we can create a password. Then we press uh, create Wi-Fi network. Yeah, let me press turn on. Now it's creating the Wi-Fi network and this looks like the DNA helix that you can see right here. That's interesting. So it's working. So initially I had some problems with my modem. I needed to reset my modem. Um, when I did, it, uh, it, it was a breeze. So finishing your home Wi-Fi, make, making sure everything is in order. So this is my second uh, Google device. I also have the Google Chromecast. You almost finish follows these final steps to get online. So go to Wi-Fi settings, settings, tap Wi-Fi under settings on your iOS device. And so I am going to my settings and just uh, covering up my Apple ID for my personal information. Then I am going to connect it. Okay, then I press finished. So you can um, get more Wi-Fi points. I'm only using one Wi-Fi point in my apartment. So that's it. So in the next screen, you can see all the relevant information, your Wi-Fi network, your password, and where it is placed. And up next, it is going to install uh, some software. And this is uh, taking uh, several minutes. So I'm just gonna leave my phone here for a little while and I'll be right back. So I think that was like super quick. So yeah, I don't need to be receiving any emails. And it is ready. Explore. I like these kind of messages. Everything looks good. Your network is online. So I will explore all of these features later on. As you can see, I am connected to the internet and two devices are connected to the internet. Let me see. Yeah, so my uh, iPhone is connected and my Chromecast. Yeah. So very good. And in this screen, you can also check some settings. You can. Very nice. So yeah, that's the Google Wi-Fi point. I mean, it was a breeze setting up this device. I'm gonna put it on my desk in a nice place and I think it's so much better than like these enormous Wi-Fi routers that look like you know they belong on the moon or something I mean I think this is maybe the smartest router that I've seen in the category but still I think it's very ugly and yeah, this device is just so pretty. Let me give it some more space. Yeah, so pretty. And um, I'm just going to browse the web and I might do an update later on to see how the internet uh, works. Let me just give you just a little peek to show you that everything is like working. Um, so let's go to apple.com. Yep, and uh, let's have a look at the um, Apple Watch. 
So yeah, everything is working. I'm very happy with it. I really think this uh, this uh, device is very pretty. It was kind of affordable as well. Let me just um, bring it up to you. Yeah, let me just uh, bring the uh, American page for you because most of my viewers are from the uh, USA. Um, here you can find all the details about the uh, product. It only retails for $100, so that's not bad. And that's um, one pack uh, and it has a range of uh, 1500 square feet. And if you want to buy a three pack, they're like $260. So that's it. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, then please um, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. Many more videos to come, so please stay tuned and have a wonderful day.